consider right now, do you have an idea of the number, demographics, and behavior of website visitors on your company page? It's important to get some of that data, and that's something that we provide for our clients. Google Analytics is the, the primary tool. There are bits of code inserted into company websites that allow Google to track and provide a wide array of data. This is a free tool from Google. And then there are upgraded resources that help display information in very uh, appealing and easy to understand ways. So for example, uh, this website right now has two visitors online it actually changed while we were looking here, one visitor to two. I can see on a particular day in the recent month how many visitors were uh, on the website. Uh, you can, of course, see traffic patterns and comparisons from month to month, year to year, et cetera, et cetera. Number of sessions, number of visitors, number of pages that those visitors visited, average time on site, which is an important SEO metric. Google loves it when people stay on a site and ingest and dive deep into the content. They feel like they've done their job and that's a part of their algorithm. So uh, pages per session. So the average visitor visits two pages on this particular site. Now we understand some people are just are coming to get a phone number and address to move fast on the service decision. They're not there to consume a lot of content and that's understandable, but we're always trying to provide more and more reasons to engage. We can see the percentage of new versus returning visitors. We can also see, look at this, the percentage of mobile versus desktop or tablet users. So on this particular site, 67% of users are coming from a mobile device. So that reminds us how critical it is to optimize and think through the mobile version of our website. We can see top performing pages, views, and get a sense of what what hooks or lures out there uh, on the interwebs are bringing people to our website, blog posts, pages. And so that can really inform strategy over time. And then we can see demographics, where people are coming from. Of course, this is a, an American English site and the vast majority of visitors are from America. And then we can actually see localities. And this is a good thing because this is where we have uh, a lot of um, visitors coming from. I mean, this is where uh, this is where services are performed and locations are. Now we can actually see keywords that people are using to find our company, and that can help us uh, improve and enhance our strategy. We can see how many people are coming from our social media properties, how many people are coming from referred sites, meaning other other places. Google organic means a search done in the search engine. And then other sites where that have a link to your company's site uh, are noted here. And you can see how many visitors come from what particular site. And so uh, we can see where people are entering and exiting our site. So the data is really wonderful. And here's another cool tool. We can actually see a heat map of, uh, of visitors' interactions uh, and behaviors on your site. So we can see where people are are stopping moving their cursor, what images and text and elements are appealing over time and we can uh, improve and, and correct that way. So these are wonderful ways to get a real metric sense of what's going on uh, with your website, which is ultimately the hub of your company's online presence. So thanks so much and God bless.